Hello everyone, after a long time I came into position to show you some progress into our latest project which we named uh, Benchbox 3. It's a modular chassis which can hold up to three peripheral modules, currently two it's inserted and it's a successor of programmable power supply H24005. The main aim of the new project is to go with better modularity, so that means that inserted module shouldn't be necessarily a power module all the time we believe that we will make some other type of tested measurement modules like let's say some data acquisition signal generator some power analyzer uh, electronic load uh, and stuff like that something what one would like to have the bench so we have here uh, first we have power switch standby indication uh, protective earth encoder knob is missing because this hole is not properly adjusted it's a it's a prototype so there is a many other issues what what we found but we are working on it basically it's on the all that small issues is around it's about this front panel ethernet usb 2.0 we have now micro sd card which is accessible from the front and here we have two input and output. We also added a user programmable switch which can be used for provide a different uh, different functionality from the firmware and up to three modules. Uh, on the back side we have it's very simple so it's just uh, AC inlet with which is fuse, so we have two fuses here and uh, we put two holes for 80 millimeters cooling fan but we believe that just one will be enough if we compare it with the previous project we can see that the dimension it's so the, the width and the dip it's basically the same you see okay here we have uh, some carrying handle what I didn't put here because of space what else okay the, the knob here it's for the encoder it's obviously much bigger than here and it should be much easier to to work with it so we increase TFT from 3.2 to 4.3 here we have all that stuff fixed and the assembly of the front panel was pretty demanding and painful we had that standby uh, switch what we don't need anymore because and you see that on the on the back we had that real power switch so now we just uh, move that real power switch on the on the front i will show you how benchbox 3 looks inside Okay, there is a four screw which you need to remove, so it's very simple. Looking from inside, we can see that power module for powering MCU board, which is down there. It's on the PCB, which goes from front to, to the rear and that help us to put let's say uh, to put uh, power switch here without any needs for additional wiring uh, there is a room for three three ACDC modules so here is two and we have down there that a mounting frame for for that modules and we can put up to three uh, modules uh, if we look here how it looks like so this is a MCU board and all that stuff it's already on it so what is exposed here and we have here a small back plane uh, which is built based on DIB version 1.0 specification our internal 
attempt to make some connection bus between MCU and some peripherals. The TFT has its it's also uh, has its mounting frame which is made to to hold it very safely tightly. Uh, what I forgot to mention it's uh, it's a new fits which is I find it in some in, in the Turkey it looks pretty good because we have now two possibility to position it so it will be much easier to do something on the on the screen. This is basically everything for this time. Uh, as you can see, the wiring it's it's very it's it's really minimal. We just have a, a few wires. So this is a one or sixteen IDC cable, flat cable from power supply to to MCU we have that for the fan and we can uh, hand, we can insert two fan with that fan controller which is used and we have uh, DC power and AC power uh, at, which goes into AC DC module uh, this cable is for JTAC and no, we are just using it for for programming with ST link and yes this is basically everything for now I will continue to update you with new stuff we definitely need a new front panel you see that I cut here we forgot that we cannot just go with this and put from from the top that uh, that uh, peripheral modules so thank you for your attention and goodbye